In this video, we'll derive the Malthusian model for population growth. Let's get started. In the Malthusian growth model, we're modeling the growth of a population in time due to births and deaths. Our independent variable is time. Our dependent variable will be the population size. We'll call that n of t. So that will be the population size at time t. And the parameters will be the birth rate and the death rate. So that will be b and d. These are the per capita um, birth rate and death rate. The per capita means it's the average births or deaths per individual in the population, and the rate means it's per unit time. So using the uh, birth and death rate and the population size, we can say that in a time delta t, which is going to be taken to be small, the the number of new births in the population is given by b times delta t, so a birth rate times a time. So that's the average number of births per individual in the time delta t times the number of individuals in the population, so times n of uh, t. We'll just leave the uh, of t out. So this is the uh, number of births in the time delta t. And then the number of deaths in the time delta t will similarly be d delta t times n. So that's the number of deaths. Okay, what we're looking for now is a differential equation for n. To obtain that differential equation, we can look at the population size at a time t plus delta t what is that equal to? Well, it's equal to the population size at time t plus the number of new individuals due to birth. That's plus b delta t times n of t minus the number of individuals that have died. So minus d delta t times n of t. Now, to construct a differential equation, we can subtract n of t from both sides. So n of t plus delta t minus n of t, and then divide through by delta t. And um, what do we have left on the right-hand side? We have a, um, we've divided through by delta t, so we have a b minus d times n of t, okay? Now we take the limit as delta t goes to zero. The left-hand side then becomes a derivative, and we end up with the differential equation uh, as delta t goes to zero. We end up with a differential equation dn dt is equal to b minus d times n, the difference between the birth rate and the death rate, times n. Um, so if there's the birth rate is larger than the death rate, the derivative is positive. If the birth rate is smaller than the death rate, the derivative is negative. This is a differential equation, first order differential equation. We need some initial value of the population size to solve it. So we might as well choose that the initial population at t equals zero is given, and we'll call that n naught. Uh, this is a, a differential equation with a well-known solution. So if the derivative of the function is equal to a constant times the function, that should be the exponential function. And with this initial condition, the solution then will be n of t 
equals n naught times e to the birth rate minus the death rate times t. The population size grows exponentially if the birth rate is larger than the death rate, and the population uh, size decays exponentially if the death rate is larger than the birth rate. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.